Hey, what's up, my wild mustaches, and welcome back to another wow video. Now, first of all, I must hit that bell button, guys. If you haven't hit that bell button, you will not know when I actually have a video up or a live stream. Now, that's it, guys. Please check out that last video because it was pretty decent, and I think y'all will like it. So, let's get right into it. All right, my mustaches. So, we're going to be taking a, a little bit different turn with a weekly price check. Now, don't get me wrong, this is going to be going off of all the prices, and we're going to be going up and down for it. So, in a video, instead of me saying, oh, it's 45.55 gold per whatever and so forth, we're just going to tell you how much it went up or down. You will see on the screen the last week, this week, and results so don't worry about that you're gonna be able to see that guys so let's get right into it so we're gonna be going over gathering equals base us medium price equals 200 times now we're gonna add crafting to this some crafting things now not all okay there's like i didn't go through all of them because some of them are just useless and you and some of them you just not worth it now i will say too as well this guide is meant for people who don't want to sit there for 30 minutes going through the undermine journal and saying oh hey what's this hey what's this or asking trade hey what's this because like i did get some um, comments last week that say well i, I could have just went to the undermine journal i mean yeah you could have and spent 30 30 minutes doing it and compared to a like what five minute video so that said guys if you appreciate someone doing this for a long time going through all the stuff doing all the formulas and stuff like that let me know in the comments and hit that like button guys so let's get right into it so first and foremost mining mining actually had one up and two downs moonlit ore actually went up by 296 gold platinum ore went down by 1074 gold actually storm silver went down 1024 gold which we knew this was actually gonna happen okay we knew that storm silver and platinum would go down first because they're so easy to get but moonlit is it depends on where you know how to farm and so forth but and so you know, i honestly i'm not a miner so this could be something totally different why it went up so let me know in the comments i think it's something to do with making some of the stuff for the um for the turn in for the war front i don't know for sure okay let me know in the comments below i'm not a miner but soon i will be a miner but anyways that said let's get right into the herbalism so herbalism is actually a you know it wasn't surprised but one so let's get right into it so river bud is 86 gold up sea stock is 608 gold down star moss is 890 gold down akunda's bite is 58 gold down winter's kiss is 660 16 gold down sirens pond which is this one i thought was could man i thought this one was gonna go up i thought it was gonna stable or go up you know i thought it was gonna be in that range but it went 866 gold down which i don't understand it because it's not that easy to um you know just to pick compared to like you know sea stock or river bud so forth or anything it should have actually um evened out but apparently it doesn't it didn't and this is a uh, one of the most sought out herbs in the game compared to actually you know river bud and so forth i mean look at witcher's kiss it just like tanked so bad now that said anchor weed anchor weed went up 4,766 gold which you know we expected that because that's used for raids now that said let's move on to skinning all right guys before we get into the skinning the code word is do you need that bro so let's get right into it so coarse leather is going to go be at 174 gold up tempted hide is going to be at 52 gold down this is just because of the market and how much you can get scales is going to be shimmering scale is 146 gold down miss scale is going to be 12 gold up now again you can farm this like crazy and they're just easy to get bones is bloodstained bone is going to be 72 gold down and calcified bone is going to be actually two gold up now don't get me wrong the bloodstained bone stain at its price range which is really really good so you're going to be making anywhere from 8,000 to 9,000 per stack now that said let's get on to the fishing all right guys with fishing we're actually going to start off with great sea catfish 1,238 gold down red tail is actually going to be 750 gold up which is amazing slimy mackerel is going to be 342 gold up sand shifters are going to be 138 gold down midnight salmons are going to be 8,890 gold down which is crazy perches are going to be 588 gold down lane snappers is actually going to be um 628 gold down Fringe fang tooth is gonna be 78 gold up which you know i'm gonna tell you right now fishing is a slow thing compared to every other gathering but honestly if you're gonna go for anything go for the red tails they're easy to get compared to other ones like don't get me wrong other ones are too as well but if you go to like um if you go to where i showed you the spot for the fishing and everything you could find a lot of red tails now let's go into engineering engineering insulated uh, wires wiring is actually gonna be 40 gold up um chemical blasting cap is gonna be 215 gold up and i will say right now and i'm gonna say right now i have two spots that i want to show you you for engineering in the future so let me know in the comments below if you want to see that let's get into tailoring tide spray linen 88 gold down deep sea satin is going to be 378 gold down which you know i'm gonna tell you right now we saw this coming they're just so easy to actually farm if you check some of my farms in the past especially vigil hill which never got nerfed it's just one of the best spots you can actually go get tide spray regardless and i'm going to defend that to the end of the expansion or until the end they actually nerf it now that said let's get into cooking so thick steaks actually six gold down stringy leon uh, i said leon i was gonna say leon's loins is 40 gold up and binary flesh is actually 124 gold up now that 
that said, this ends the gathering, and we will be going to the crafting right now. Alright, my mustache is so basically this is the crafting part. Let me know in the comments below what you would like to add if it's not in the video. I didn't go over every single item. That would just take so long, but I want to get to that point where we go over every single item, and every week we actually just show, but let's get right into it. So first and foremost, it's going to be bags. This will not be based on 200, just above itself one. So let's get right into it. So deep sea bag, 1,459 gold and 48 silver. The 32 slot bag is going to be 13,120 gold and 44 silver which is pretty amazing price on my server they're only going for eight to nine thousand something like that but the medium us price is thirteen thousand one hundred and twenty gold and 44 silver so let's get actually into the alchemy now these are all the flasks i'm just gonna say flask of the currents of the endless fathoms of the undertow of the vast horizon they range from two thousand four hundred and twenty eight gold and thirty eight silver to two thousand eight hundred and seventy four gold and forty five silver at undertow now as you can see if you have a 200 stack you're gonna get anywhere from four hundred eighty five thousand gold to all the way up to five hundred and seventy four thousand gold which is really crazy and i'm gonna be honest with you right now it's so easy to get 200 it really is when you proc or so forth and honestly if you do your own farming for herbs you can just go crazy gold making right now now i will say right now pets too as well for alchemy is or is a big time gold making if you actually get a baby crog you're gonna get 127,828 gold with a u.s number of 100 only in the u.s which is this is something i want to add to pets and other things because if a product is less in like a whole region market you know you're gonna make a lot of gold off it because no one has it at the time gear spring hopper 91,037 gold and 20 silver 80 in the u.s and this next one i keep freaking messing the, the, the name up that's why i keep going over this video slippery a slippy or slippy slippery I, whatever you know what i mean but anyway, 157,616 gold and eight silver 88 in the u.s as we talk now that said blood fester blue is 111,164 gold now don't get me wrong is 106 in the u.s but i don't understand why that's so much compared to the yellow which is 89,500 gold which only four in the u.s which is kind of stupid i'm gonna say right now yellow should be a lot more than any of these because it's so rare to get this just makes no sense now that said let's get into the mills bountiful captain's feast is at 2206 gold and 64 silver at 441,328 gold which makes sense because these are very sought after when if you're raiding so if you have enough of the stuff to make bountiful captain's feast i suggest you sell them like crazy now that said tomes of the quiet mind 148 gold at 29,600 gold and for a 200 stack and Vantus ruins are gonna be 1,998 gold and 70 silver at 399,740 gold now that said that is the end of this video do apologize if it's a long video do apologize if I am rushed on some parts but I've been going on this for a while my voice has actually been dying a lot so basically let me know in the comments below what you thought about this video the wild token winner will be announced this Sunday uh, along with the people of the patreon I do apologize that I did not have a live stream this week other than like i think one we should have a live stream t tonight at friday so that's it guys let me know in the comments below what you thought about this video and as always stay stashy thousand but right now we're doing a thousand scrapped items now i will say right now that after 528 scrapped i learned a lot of stuff for just you know just getting stuff now don't get me wrong the other 500 is gonna be 